Hello there puzzle friends again. We're here today with another video about jigsaw puzzles And as you can see on front of me on the table I have three jigsaw puzzles and all of them are from the brand Nathan Nathan games and today we are going to do a review about the brand Nathan games and specifically for the puzzles since we are a jigsaw puzzle channel uh, but first things first what about Nathan Nathan puzzles is a part of a, how can I say this is a part of a bigger brand a bigger um, company uh, that's actually a printing company that prints many products and it has a very important and big history uh, based on France on the website which actually is on French so I did have some difficulties there to find some info uh, they state they, they helped a lot the system they have a history of 150 years or so uh, in printing quality in printing educational materials and they are trying to stay immer on top notch of technology having our uh, electronic um, games and stuff like this but let's uh, concentrate on the jigsaw puzzle which actually is what this channel is for uh, the Nathan games as I already said uh, they did ex uh, they did they were an uh, um, a part of the Nathan uh, brand but they were sold to Na Ravensburger which you probably know if you're doing puzzles in 1998 so Ravensburger bought all the, uh, the games which uh, they gradually went away from being produced in France and they slowly went in product in Ravensburg Ravensburg is the city where they are having um, where they have a place where they make also puzzles since they are called also Ravensburger uh, interestingly they did have the rights to produce these games and products but they didn't have the rights to use the Nathan logo because the Nathan was still a part of the bigger uh, French company but then uh, sometime later there came another brand in the game a set which was allowed to make products with an Nathan logo I believe it was in 2007 today you will find some jigsaw puzzles on the market not so many in the German market where I'm based and actually these two ones I bought them from a French shop this I did buy it in Germany and this is, was the first one that uh, get me in contact with the brand uh, but that's I think we have said enough about the history which actually find it very interesting what actually do they have on the jigsaw puzzles they have uh, you see here some samples which are probably they are not restricted to these samples I only have only three of them because as I said I don't have a very good um, way of finding them and some of them are from abroad and they have a lot of puzzles that are uh, from comics as you see here and from uh, um, series that are for children like Paw Patrols or um, The Ladybug or something like this and many series that are for young children and so on not only for small toddlers or so on, but for young uh, children, for, uh, for uh, somewhat uh, older children. They also have some landscapes, they also have some collages. And I do have found, by the time of um, shooting this video, they also have some Naruto, also some anime uh, jigsaw puzzles. Which is quite interesting to find, since uh, in Europe, it's not always easy to find such uh, themed uh, puzzles. What's interesting about them is uh, that they they are on the French market, 
wh which is the French market, the, the toys from Nathan, the puzzle, the games from Nathan, they are uh, selling very well. And according to some sources, they are the best selling games in the French market. Uh, and you can also see here, they also have the names on the French language. What's also interesting, which I forgot to say, is what I already told you. Here, if you read it, it says it's imagined in France, but it's made in Europe. And as I already told you, they are made in Germany, in Ravensburg. At least the puzzles. Uh, but that's it about it. Let's see what are the boxes actually look like. Well, as you would expect, they are somewhat like a Ravensburger box since they are already made in Ravensburg. So you have the picture, uh, which is typically in a jigsaw puzzle. Uh, here you have the number of the pieces. Here is, uh, they also have this one, which I find interesting. They say collection, and they say from which collection this is. This is from collection Noel, uh, Christmas, collection Mehiros, collection Artiste. Uh, as I already said, it's French. But you can understand it. my heroes, uh, artists, and Christmas. Uh, they have the, they stay here a puzzle, or they have also the logo and the name, as I already said, in French. This one you see is somewhat different about the colors and than the other ones because they wanted to give it probably a Christmassy um, vibe to it. On the side you see all, uh, again the picture, the number of the pieces, the name some barcodes and stuff like this. Here it's also interesting, they have a year, which is not always the case. This one, for example, does not have the, uh, the year stated on it. Uh, the dimensions, which are the typical dimensions of Europe, 50 times 70, the typical dimensions of Ravensburger too. Uh, the, the same on, the, on this side. And here they also say some info about the artist, which actually made this uh, puzzle. On the back, it's the same on all three jigsaw puzzles. They have some uh, text in French, which actually says something about the glue they have, something about the series they have, the nine, nine collections, and that they are made in Europe. With uh, is, here is it, well here they don't have it, but they have it here, I believe here with responsive materials, uh, uh, so it's also eco-friendly. Uh, I don't think we are forgetting anything. Yeah, we have also the artists, as I said, sometimes the gear. Here are the dimensions, uh, as usual, in centimeters. Well, we are in Europe. And that's it about the box. Uh, it's as you would um, probably imagine, made of cardboard. And let's open it up to see what's actually is inside the box. Uh, as usual, usual, I open it in front of you so you can see also with me what's inside. This one is already opened because I have already puzzled it some time ago. Uh, and it's actually a video that's doing quite well on the channel. So the seal, it's sealed wrap as you see. We make this uh, on the side. And it's always nice to open a new box here. You can also see the picture. Yeah, I don't know if you already recognize it or read it. It's uh, an asterisk. Also a theme based on the French uh, literacy, so to say. Uh, I really like this one because it's like a comic and so sort. I'm not um, the biggest fan of Asterix. I, I, I would uh, read it very happily if I find it, but I would probably, for example, I like much more Look Look, but I know that Asterix is much more famous, so it's easier to find a puzzle from him. The box is a typical cardboard box, also as you can expect it. Here is also some uh, that we have already seen. And nothing um, specific here, also we have only the pieces and nothing else. And the pieces, on the first glance, we will see them in more detail. They are in this sealed bag. Uh, 
which is also typically used from Ravensburger. What you will not know it is from Ravensburger since they are not stated anywhere. But you can see also this blue cardboard, which is kind of famous that Ravensburger has this cardboard. Uh, I got a uh, comment that they do have uh, the Ravensburger puzzles have a lot of dust. We will see them as we put them outside. And I this is the first impressions and now we go with uh, video magic sometime later to see how it actually looks like after we have puzzled some. Well, as you can see we have puzzle some way through. I believe it's uh, something around four to five hours puzzling time yet. Now. Uh, <clears throat> so I can actually tell you a little bit how do the puzzle pieces actually look like uh, after having done some time, having spent some time with them. First things first, as you would expect, from a Nathan, from a Ravensburger puzzle, they are the typical uh, pieces that are grid cut, as you can see. The thickness is a very, a very good amount, would I say so. Uh, you always have, so, let's say, they have nice feeling when you put them together because of the thickness and stuff like this and uh, how they feel in, in hand. Uh, it's uh, as usual the typical gar cardboard material. Uh, it's not that bluish as it uh, Ravensburger, but it's uh, somewhat blue. Um, the print is very clear as you can see. This one uh, specifically, let me show you to you again, is a cartoon and if you see uh, they are they tend to be more on the matte size, which is also typical um, Ravensburg, yeah, they say. If you want to transport a bigger chunk, uh, the pieces, yeah, with they stay together, but it's, if it's a bigger chunk, they need some extra help. They are not that... Um, strong to each other let's say but uh, it's not that of a problem that they are very loose and stuff like this uh, Ravensburger uh, so Nathan knows too they state that you can lift the puzzle if it's um, ready it's something that I don't try I don't like to try with my jigsaw puzzles I'm not that uh, of a risky type um, about the community well they are not that famous, at least in Germany, so I haven't heard anything bad about them. I have heard some stuff about the Ravensburger, but that's a topic for another video. Uh, about the price, well, the price is what you would actually expect from a jigsaw puzzle that's this size and this quality, this Europe quality, also it's the typical European price which is something between 10, 10 euro to 15 euro or something like this uh, so I would say it's the price is also okay if it's um, value for money well to my taste it is it, it's worth trying and you should also if you find the jigsaw puzzle with a picture that you like of course you will you can try it I don't think that you will be very disappointed or something like this. About the differentiation of the pieces, well, like as I already to told you, I'm not that sure if there is a problem. Well, in this case, I didn't have any problems until now. Uh, but then again, the picture, as you see, is somewhat clear where the pieces go. So I don't have a problem there. If there was much more um, sky or species that are very similar, there may have been a problem, but that's something that we need to discover if, when we puzzle more and more of these brands. Which actually is something that I would uh, really like to do since I am quite happy with the quality. 
Uh, but that's again, as always, I try to be objective, but that's always a subjective manner if the jigsaw puzzle is to your taste or not. So feel free to write me in the comments if you have ever tried them, what did you think about them, or if you would try them. Having known all these things that we have talked today about. Uh, that's it for me to do from today. Thanks again for watching. Uh, stay safe, happy puzzling, and until next time, goodbye.